Rob Yastrzemski with RJ Homes and EXP Realty and today I'm excited to showcase my new listing at 409 Waterton Estates. That's this beautiful bungalow, it's a walkout, fully developed. I'm excited to showcase it to you. Hopefully you can hear me okay, it's a little bit windy out here, but let's go in and let's explore. Right off the bat I want to show you guys how unique this home is. We've got a very unique roof line here where you, you will probably notice that there is actually no rain uh, gutter system. It's actually built into the roof at the top and you'll notice that the actual downspout is built right in here and here comes the, the uh, outlet. So it's really neat, um, very, very uh, well engineered roof. The home itself, it's built to last. As you can tell, it's got the four car garage. Beautiful thing about this property is it's fully heated with in-floor heating in the garage, in the basement, and all of the tiled areas upstairs. As well, you're sitting here on an acreage property that, as you can tell, is just being seeded. Everything's ready to go. You'll see around the corner in the back, we've got a beautiful walkout uh, patio for you to enjoy. And as you can tell, it's the afternoon. We've got the sun back there, so you get lots of sunshine in the back. Let's go in and explore. So, welcome inside. You're in for a real treat. This is an all custom built home. You'll never see another one like it anywhere else. The builder has just created a masterpiece. Uh, there's been overbuilt in every way, very, very solid home, and it's got the beautiful open concept design. Uh, there's a right around 3,300 3, square feet on the main floor, plus of course the fully developed basement. So space, space, space galore. It's absolutely amazing. So let's go in and have a look around. Right off the bat, you're greeted by this beautiful centerpiece of a gas fireplace, which is kind of rare these days. Most uh, builders are putting in uh, electric fireplaces now. So this is really nice to see. As you can tell, it's uh, two-sided, so you can see it from both the entranceway and the family room. Speaking of the family room, check out this view. All open, bright white, lots and lots of natural light coming in. You can see how you've got this whole great room concept idea. All of these cabinets are built in above or just below your uh, TV so that entertainment center stays. And as you can tell, you've got this beautiful uh, open concept design where you can really fit a humongous table if you wanted to, uh, much larger than what's there. So if you're entertaining, this is a perfect place for that. So here we are in this amazing kitchen. Just take a look at the size of this island. All granite tops, um, all of the drawers here, actually, if you take a look, it's all drawers. And where there aren't drawers, it's all built-ins, including in this amazing Lazy Susan. Like you've got full access. Everything comes right out. And it's like that all the way through. As you can tell, we've got a full array of top-of-the-line KitchenAid appliances. One, two dishwashers, one, two built-in ovens, a built-in microwave, of course, a top-of-the-line refrigerator. This is an induction cooktop with a downdraft fan. As you can tell, this is a chef's dream kitchen. Speaking of those pull-outs, check out this pantry. Everywhere, every one of these pulls out for easy access and it's like that all the way through. The whole kitchen is designed to be very convenient. And just off the kitchen, we've got this beautiful sunroom. As you can tell, it's got a full array of windows to let all that sunshine in, which by the way, we are facing southwest here. And just on the wall here is one of many thermostats for the in-floor heating in this room. So like I mentioned outside, we've got in-floor heating on the main floor everywhere in the tiled areas as well as this sunroom. And then of course each one of those zones represents a different uh, thermostat valve that will open and let the heat through those lines in the winter time so it keeps you cozy and warm. Okay and moving along, 
Like I mentioned, this is really an entertainer's dream home. Check it out, you've got an area right there for your e eat-in breakfast nook area, and as well as a full formal dining room. Space galore, you can just imagine how many people you can entertain here. Now, moving on to the south side of the house, you've got a two-piece bathroom. This is your laundry room. Now, there's something interesting in here I wanna show you. Not only do you have a nice spacious laundry room with the uh, full window with natural light, you've got a built-in sink, but you've got this interesting gadget over here. This is an ozonator. So what this does, essentially, you can actually wash your clothes without any soap whatsoever. This uh, basically introduces ozone into the, the water, takes away all the impurities, so that way your clothes come out smelling fresh and clean, and you don't even have to use any soap. So coming out of the laundry room, you can tell we've got basically a breezeway here. So right here, we've got access to the front of the home. This is right outside the driveway. On the other side, we've got access to the back. Again, really convenient to go right through from the house into this breezeway into the garage. This breezeway incidentally does have hot and cold water as well. And then you've got this access to the massive garage. Check this out, it's huge. It's a four car garage. Um, you can tell it's got all individual doors. They're all nine foot by 10 foot wide doors. Um, and then what's interesting is all these benches stay, all the uh, shelving stays. Now right between this shelving unit here, there is an electrical plug-in that's already built in so that if you happen to have an electric car, it's right there. Because this garage comes fully equipped with a 100 amp electrical panel, which is incidentally very very rare this home itself actually has a 200 amp service so you can have plenty left over for your garage that was the north side of the house now let's take a look at the south wing so on this side you've got a very spacious office right on the main level and then right here at the back you've got the, your master bedroom suite take a look at how much space you have here and here we've got this massive walk-in closet. As you can tell, it's got the cabinets that are fully enclosed, so you can keep your clothes nice and dust-free. You've got this beautiful granite countertop so that if you want to do some folding, it's a great place to do that. Of course, you've got this natural light coming in. Now across from the walk-in closet, you've got this absolutely stunning spa-like ensuite. His and hers sinks, granite top again. You've got the freestanding tub. Look at all this natural light coming in through these windows. And a massive shower. Uh, plenty of space in here for two or more. Of course, you've got a fully self-contained uh, water closet area as well. Now let's go in and have a look at the actual master bedroom set itself. As you can tell, it's spacious. You've got tons of room for all your king size furniture and then you have access to the patio right from here as well as from the sunroom. Of course, it's all Duradeck finish. You've got the full glass railing and it's self-facing so you get all that beautiful sunshine. So like I said, there's lots of space in here including lots of bedrooms on the main floor. Three to be exact. You've got another bedroom right here, full bathroom, another uh, full vanity with granite tops and the third bedroom right at the front. Again, look at the size of this. It's just massive. And you've got this beautiful picture window so you can have that gorgeous view of the front yard. Let's continue on to the basement. Just wanna mention something you probably notice is these stairs. You've got a four foot wide staircase and also they're very shallow stairs so that that way you don't have your typical staircase where you have those tall stairs, tall risers. They're a little bit shorter than that. Now when you come down here, it's just wide open. That's the beautiful thing about a bungalow. In this case, it's a walkout bungalow. You have tons and tons of space. All of this bar area built in, yet another top of the line KitchenAid dishwasher, another top of the line KitchenAid fridge, and wine fridge. Of course, you've got more granite and the undermount sink. 
It's all part of the uh, build quality that you see throughout the whole home here. Now down here you've got uh, great space for entertaining, the pool table and equipment stays and there is also a full bathroom with a shower that's got multi heads. So here we are again, so if you are entertaining, just imagine what you can do here. You can have, whether it be a family get together or your friends over for a hockey night, there is the possibilities are endless. Now out here, the walkout basement and this whole patio is fully covered as you can tell we've got LED lights everywhere incidentally there's LED lights in the whole home so very efficient we've got built-in speakers and as you can tell we've got lots and lots of concrete so that you can set up your patio furniture however you like and there's still a lot more to see come on I'll show you there's yet another very large bedroom down here in the lower level. It's right underneath the master bedroom, so it's almost the same footprint. Again, you've got a massive ensuite with a huge walk-in closet. Of course, you may have noticed that uh, there is a lot of these thermostats throughout. Like I said, those are all for separate zones, so every room has its own thermostat for the in-floor heating in here. Again, take a look at the size of this room. Just massive, so again, you have lots of space for king-size bedroom furniture, as this is a king-size bed itself. Okay, come on with me, I'll show you, there's still more to see. Down here, we've got the theater room. It's already all set up. As you can tell, it's got the step up, so you can have the raised seating area. It's got plugins and wiring all set up for your theater, for your projector TV. Uh, your theater system will be all wired for surround sound. And last but not least, we still have the utility rooms. Notice plural, there's more than one. So let's show you this. As you can tell, this is the whole in-floor heating system. So you can see all the water lines going into the floor so it heats the basement, the garage, as well as all the tiled areas in the sunroom upstairs. So you can see it's got all the heat pumps here. This is the actual boiler itself. Then you have separate water heating for the actual water heater itself. And then you've got this top of the line furnace with central air conditioning. And of course it's got central vacuum systems and the uh, all important air exchanger unit. This will basically make it a very efficient use of the air that's moving through the home, uh, including uh, having a full exchange of air during the winter time when you're not opening your windows and doors as much so you stay nice and healthy. Now across the hall, utility room number two. As you can tell, there's still lots of space in here for storage. But this is all about the water lines that's coming in here with the pump. So incidentally, um, this property is on a water cistern with a city water supply on a trickle system. So when the, there is like a thousand gallon tank that's buried outside and uh, the water trickles in from the county. So you've got nice clean water supply all the time. And then it goes through the pump here and gets distributed through the house. And then take a look at the size of that electrical panel. 200 amps. Most homes in this area only get 100 amps. The owner here decided to double that to make sure you have enough electricity for all your goodies. Maybe you want to do a hot tub sometime. There's plenty of juice in here for that. So here we are outside again. As I mentioned inside, this home has city water. This is the cistern that I was mentioning. That's a thousand gallons buried in the ground. And the city water comes in on a trickle, so low pressure system. And it just fills up as you need it. And then it goes into the utility room where you saw the pump brings it up to pressure for the home and then it gets distributed from there. So here we are. I mentioned to you about the water. Now we've got the sewer on this end. As you can tell, there's four separate uh, tanks in here. And this sewer treatment center is an absolutely state-of-the-art sewage treatment system where basically it goes from one cell to another to another until it comes out almost clean. And then 
the water just get, gets distributed out into the uh, septic field in the back over here in the back of the property. Also, one other thing I wanted to mention on this side, we've got, of course, the central air conditioning. You can see there is exhaust ports there for the uh, uh, high efficiency furnaces. Um, and as you can tell, there is that door from the outside from that breezeway. One other thing I forgot to mention, you may have noticed that there is a little bit of a different stucco texture on this. That's because we've got acrylic stucco. It'll last forever, it won't crack, it's the top of the line. So thank you very much for taking the time to view this video. Again, this is 409 Waterton Estates, just outside of Sherwood Park. We're basically just down the road on uh, Clover Bar Road and just off of the White Mud Extension, so very, very close. If you have any questions about this property whatsoever, don't hesitate to give me a call at 780-222-8222. Of course, you can always reach me by email, rob at rjhomes.ca. And remember, please share this video. You never know, it might be just the perfect home for one of your friends.